Hey guys, I want to do a, a new video on fixing the idle on my Eclipse. Um, on my last video I had that manual idle adjuster for modern performance and I found out that that actually didn't fix my problem. It just made it idle a little higher but this, the idle would still surge up and down and up and down. Um, so I plugged in the live data tool and I watched the coolant, temp uh, coolant temperature this time and when I first start the car when the engine's cold it idles perfect and when it goes into closed loop it's still idling perfect but as soon as it hits 150 degrees or higher that's when um, the ECU starts cutting back on the fuel because the engine's hot and it's actually starving the engine of fuel and I think uh, if the engine were stock it wouldn't be doing anything it'd just be idling normal but since this engine is modified it's sucking in a lot more air um, the ECU doesn't know it needs to keep that extra fuel um, when the engine's hot so it can maintain a good idle. Um, so I'm going to start at the car and show you what I mean and show you how annoying it is. Might take a minute or two. Um, in order to fix this, the easiest thing I think I can do is to not let the ECU know it's hitting 150 degrees or higher. And um, instead of buying like a $400 Apex e Neo to tune these bigger injectors, I'm going to get a 500 ohm potentiometer, which I got for a dollar off eBay, and I'm going to splice it into the coolant temp sensor on the return line, the return wire. So I can manipulate the signal after the coolant temp sensor's um, done its thing. And then I'm going to try to fine tune it while looking at the live data tool to where the coolant temp sensor or the coolant temperature is uh, maybe 140, maybe 145. But I've watched it enough times warming up that once it hits 150 or higher, that's when it starts um, bogging down and starving into fuel. And the injector pulse is really short and it's... The fuel trim's negative 25, so it's cutting the fuel. So uh, I'm going to try that and see if that fixes it. And if it does, that's an easy way to tune your car for a dollar. Okay, so I unplugged the coolant temp sensor. And I've got a little uh, T-pin from Walmart so you can probe these things. And the key is turned on right now. And we got two wires. we got one that's uh, green with a white stripe and one that is black with a green stripe and I was assuming that the the green stripes the positive coming from the ECU and it is there's five volts coming from there and if I move to the black wire uh, 0 0.019 so for sure the signal wire come from the ECU is the one with the the green wire so that means we want that potentiometer spliced into the black wire that's the return signal wire back to the computer okay here's my potentiometer i got off ebay for a buck and we want when this is hooked up we want the resistance to go up so we're going to be using the first pin and the middle pin and then this third one right here you don't even hook up to anything and then um i got a pack of five so i got a pack of five of these for five bucks and i got a pack of five of these knobs for 250 off ebay so that's what it'll look like in the car. All right, everybody, I got the 500 ohm potentiometer installed. And that's where I put it. And right now it's in the off position, turned counterclockwise all the way. Got the live data thing. Again, as you can see, I've let it warm up to 201 degrees. I've got a 195 degree thermostat. it 
as far as it'll go. So. Okay, here I'm on uh, eBay and I found a seller called Ty Shine, and he's selling five of these 2,000 ohm linear potentiometers for uh, five bucks and free shipping. Okay, so the 2,000 ohm potentiometer came and I installed it and I've got it turned off and I've warmed up the car. Temperatures about 194, 195, and you can see the idle is going up and down, and the air fuel ratio is going high to 13 and drops low to 15. it to 129. 